This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. East Lansing is one of the latest schools to reinstate fall sports. Athletic Director Nicole Norris made the announcement on Sunday evening. On Monday, the Trojan football team is currently preparing for a new and slightly different season. It is now back to work for the Trojans, who are incredibly thankful. The wave of emotions the East Lansing football team have felt over the course of the last few weeks has been overwhelming at times. Players also were given a special message from Coach Farako. You've been given a present, a gift that you've wanted, and now you have to justify that you should have it by taking care of yourself. Coach Farako said that he's going to tell his team to pretend it's March 16th, 2020. Farako said that things are going to look a little bit different. During practice, they'll be socially distanced and wearing masks under helmets. Also, Holt Public Schools will be bringing back fall sports, but only a select few. After the executive order was announced by Governor Gretchen Whitmer, the school district reinstated the following varsity level sports. Football, swimming and diving, soccer, and volleyball. It will go into effect on September 8th. Outdoor sports will have their own rules and protocol to follow. Overall, students and parents seemed receptive to the decision following the Facebook announcement. St. John's Public Schools has announced it anticipates having to suspend its in-person start date until Monday, September 14th because of a recent uptick in COVID-19 cases in Clinton County. Superintendent Mark Palmer said that the decision was made because the county hit the positive test rate over the, the threshold the district established earlier this month. The widely used metric is 5% or higher. Palmer says that they will seek more information from the local health department about the spike and whether it was an isolated outbreak. Some students who opted to in-person learning were set to start on Tuesday. Now students are expected to return Monday, September 14th. The district said that they plan to start some introductory online instruction for elementary students and regular courses for the remaining students on Thursday, September 10th. The announcement, which came via Facebook, said that the positive test rate in Clinton County is 5.2%. Elementary school staff will still work to prepare Chromebooks that families can pick up on Wednesday, September 9th, between the hours of 12 and 7 p.m. Middle and high school students will need to contact the school offices to arrange a pickup. Teachers are still planning to provide beginning instruction virtually on September 10th. Parents will still be able to pick up free breakfast and lunch on Tuesday, September 8th, and Wednesday, September 9th, between 8 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. Thousands of people are still working from home in what was initially thought to be a temporary solution to fight coronavirus. Six months later, psychologists said working from home could be here to stay. The measures we took to keep happy and healthy when we were thinking about this more short-term, a Band-Aid, they are different than the long-term, said Dr. Julie Brasuski, clinical psychologist. Dr. Brasuski said it's even more important to create space between work and your life. As we move through the Band-Aid phase, we have to make sure that we are communicating our needs to our supervisor about what hours we are available, said Dr. Brasuski. Dr. Brasuski said that now is the time to stop going to work in your pajamas. And also, she said that communication is more important now than ever because if you're feeling burned out, you need to make sure that your employer is aware. If you are feeling more anxiety and stress while working from home, talk to your boss about any resources that your company might have. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News, WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.